We're all shopping for essentials online these days, and now you can get rewarded for it. With the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards credit card, you can choose to earn 3% cash back on online shopping. The essentials have never felt more rewarding. Visit bankofamerica.com slash more rewarding to apply now. Copyright 2021, Bank of America Corporation. Want the high stakes stuff? The believe the hype stuff? The criminally good, emotional roller coaster, can't believe what you're seeing stuff? You know, the good stuff. AMC Plus has it all. Can't wait for the beginning of the end? Watch all new episodes of The Walking Dead one week early. Want to be chilled to the core? Set sail with the North Water, a thrilling Arctic drama starring Jack O'Connell and Colin Farrell. Plus, uncover gripping true crime content ad-free and on demand. Expect the epic with AMC+. Plus. Sign up today at amcplus.com. AMC+, Plus, only the good stuff. This is The Bird Show. All right, so you guys got to fill me in. What happened on Friday? She was dating the boss and now things has gone sideways? Yeah, so she needed help ending this relationship with the boss, um, which is complicated to say the least. So it, they only been dating about four months. He was the one who approached her, because I think that's important information, and she was actually hesitant. She wasn't into him. And I don't want to say she felt obligated, but in she kind of, that's kind of what she said in her email, that she was felt obligated to say yes when he asked her out, but then turned out she actually liked him. It's that weird power role that you guys mm-hmm. are always telling us about. Yeah. Like when somebody of power approaches you, um, you're uncomfortable about it, but you also don't want to lose your job, so you go with it. That's a total abuse of power. Now she goes, I guess I was afraid it would make things more awkward if I turned him down. So she said yes, and turns out they got along, they enjoyed hanging out with each other, so they continued for several months. Nobody at the office knows. They kept it hush-hush, and now there's another guy that's on the scene and she's more interested than him into in him than she is her boss and she wanted to know how she can break up with her boss and still keep her job okay and at the end of everything i was like you know this really does suck because he's the one who asked you out you dated it's not working out so it sucks that we're having to walk on eggshells to protect his ego Mm -hmm. when you should be able to break up with him and he should totally be fine with it right like it should be that simple but the fact that we're having to go to these lengths was infuriating right all right, so they update and today. And maybe he was. Who knew? Mm-hmm. But this is like the, um, this is a cautionary tale right here. When you start dating somebody in the office for the boss. Said. And again, I've always known that it was there, but I'm like, I don't care. What can really go wrong? A lot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. The update reads, thanks for taking the time to discuss my situation. Everything you guys said made a lot of sense. I was thinking more about it, and I didn't feel it was necessary to have an official break off our relationship talk. I liked what you were saying about letting things fizzle out or distance myself by saying that I need some personal space and that I was going through some stuff. So that's what I decided to do. That's right. We were like, don't break up with them. Just say you need to take some space and then Mm -hmm. never never take that space back. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) On Friday, he asked me if we were hanging out that evening like we typically do on Fridays. I told him that I couldn't and he seemed a bit put off by that. He texted me later and asked what was going on. That's when I told him I just needed some space and that I had some personal stuff going on. Of course, he tried to ask more questions. I know he was trying to figure out what the problem was so he could fix it. I just continued to say that I just didn't really want to talk and I just needed some time. He agreed and told me let him know if he need, if I needed anything. Well, then on Saturday, I had my date with the new guy. We were having a great time. I really like him. But then one of my coworkers walked into the restaurant and saw me with him. Ah, it always happens, that's man. That's change. Think of all the restaurants uh-huh. in the city, all right? The it has to be. <laughs> of course, she thought nothing of it in regards to our boss because she doesn't know I'm dating him. However, our office is pretty social and everybody talks a lot. I don't know how to tell her not to say anything about seeing me on a date without her being completely confused. I'm not sure if I should just come clean to her about the entire situation on Monday morning before she has a chance to mention it to anyone. I can promise you that as soon as the coworker that saw them in the restaurant gets to work today, that rumor's going to start spreading like wildfire. Maybe it's not such a bad thing, though, right? She wants the boss to kind of leave her alone, and she wants it to happen without her saying anything. And Yeah, but uh, and even though nobody knows, <laughs> it's going to affect him. It's going to sting. Yes. It's, it's going, going to it. affect him, and then that's going to affect the work 
environment. It shouldn't, but unfortunately, it will. Cassie, grab a mic, because this wasn't a boss-employee situation with you and uh, Chad, your husband, but you guys hid your relationship. You met at work and hid it for over a year, right? Yeah, we did. We had, because he was, I was um, a fellow, and which is like a glorified intern at the time, and he was like an assistant director, so it already felt like the imbalance was off, even though I didn't report to him in any capacity. And we had a very small office, about the same number of people as the Burt Show. So, and it was, God, I remember they had like address lists, everyone's address and phone number because it's like a family environment. I took out a P.O. box because we started living together so I could have a <laughs> P.O. box listed as my address because their names were right next to each other. <laughs> and for a year and a half, and it felt like I was having an affair. We would walk into them. We would see people everywhere. And I'm like, how do we know so many people? Mm-hmm. We'd walk into the mall and I would just split off from him immediately and he would know it's because I saw someone we knew in the car when we were driving. If we were driving through an area where we know, knew like coworkers were because we worked at a big business together, I'd put the like seat down and lie all flat in the car so no one could see me because, as, and I knew it as soon as we did come clean because he traveled with me to England for my grandmother's birthday. Nobody believed us. I had friends get <laughs> so mad because they thought I was playing an April Fool's Day prank on them that Chad was going with me. Um, and that's when the joke started. What were you guys doing alone in the break room. I was making mm. coffee, but this is exactly why mm-hmm. like, I avoided it because everyone else made it so inappropriate and mm-hmm. couldn't stop. I mean, they, they were loving and jovial. I'm not trying to hate on them. It's just, I wanted it to be professional, yep. and as soon as that news comes out, it's not. In looking back at it, was it slightly sort of intoxicating because it was so taboo and you had to keep it a secret? Was it some way exciting? Like to a point, but then I changed my Facebook relationship status just to say I was in a relationship and I got, who is he? Where does he live? And I had to make up stories and it's just tiring. You want to be like... You want to be able to live your life and be happy without having to hide secrets and sure. my friends. Sure. All right, so tomorrow, maybe we get an update from her that tells us uh, if the boss is being cool about it or the work environment has gone sideways quickly. This is The Bird Show. You decided to upgrade your outdoor deck, so you ordered the essentials, a power washer, a set of patio chairs, and a shiny new grill. And you used your Bank of America customized cash rewards credit card, choosing to earn 3% cash back on online shopping and up to 5.25% as a preferred rewards member, which you put towards your most essential deck addition, a bird feeder. Apply for yours at bankofamerica.com slash more rewarding. Copyright 2021 Bank of America Corporation.